Today I'm going to show you guys the number one trick to instantly lock onto your enemies in 90% of your gunfights. Many players don't know about some of these tricks and there's a good chance that if you're new, you also may not know why you're missing out on 80% of your shots. So with that being said, if you guys do enjoy today's video and learn something new, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's any other coaching topics you guys need help with, comment them down below. Alrighty guys, so the main thing we're going to talk about in today's video has to do with your centering. Centering is an important factor in the war zone that allows you to basically have aimbot and to predict where most people are going to be peeking you from now a lot of new players don't really know what this actually means so to explain it real quick we're going to just say someone is in this general area right around let's just say here if i am uh, you know expecting someone to be there whether it's for my uav or my audio i should not be looking down i see a lot of players do this and they'll kind of like peek around and shoot like this or they'll be a little bit too too far up but most players look at the ground you don't want to you know have your reticle at the ground ever you always want your reticle to be at eye level where you expect someone to peek from. So for example, right here, if someone's going to peek over there, while I'm pushing this, I should be ready for them to peek at any second because they're not gonna just stand here the entire time. They might run back, they might peek you, and if they're peeking you, and you're looking at the ground, they're gonna just get a really easy kill because you have to pull your aim all the way up just to shoot at them. So, with that being said, Centering is probably the most like useful thing when it comes to winning all their gunfights, especially when it comes to quick scoping with like snipers. Because if someone just peeks that spot right there and I'm looking right there, all I have to do is just ADS and shoot. It's that simple. I don't have to drag around, look down here, I don't have to like do this. I don't have to like compensate at all. I can just literally ADS and shoot. I don't have to do any work with my right analog stick. Now, when you are peeking corners or pulling up on a corner, you want to kind of make it smooth. So like right here, you see as I'm peeking this, I'm still kind of like slowly moving and gradually making it faster. That way it's like a smooth peek. This is really, really important because if you're just looking completely straight, that means you have to do all of this just to look to the right. And trust me, that will get you killed a lot. That is enough time for the person to land probably like five shots on you. In multiplayer, that's gonna kill you. In Warzone, that's gonna probably kill all your plates. And by then, you're basically already dead. Also, the good reason you should do this is that way, if someone does try to break your camera, they're not gonna shatter it entirely. I see some players, they'll kind of like look a little too far, too fast. It'll kind of like, you know, slide and start looking like this. If someone jumps around you like this while you're doing that, they're going to have some easy, you know, shots on the back and it's going to be really easy to kill you that way. You're not going to know anywhere that where they went. You're going to start looking around for them. And if they're a really good player, they know how to dance around behind you. Trust me, that's not what you want. So now that I explained centering, I'm going to demonstrate with some actual bots to show you guys exactly how you should be centering in every single gunfight. Now, while I'm showing you guys a couple of clips, I do want to go ahead and tell you guys, if you guys do own Modern Warfare 3, all of my guide videos, you guys should definitely practice these in bot lobbies. It's a great way to warm up and to learn new mechanics and actually practice it and kind of get it down. You can listen to music or something like that while practicing. I really, really recommend it. I think I've had most of my skill growth just in bot lobbies like this, just practicing perhaps my aim my uh, you know quick scoping centering movement everything like that it's a great way to learn a lot faster because when you're playing battle royale or like resurgence you're not going to be in gunfights as much and you can't really practice it and really get that muscle memory down so it's much easier to do it in a private match and sometimes you will see in these clips i do overcompensate a little bit you know we can't be perfect all the time which is why i said that you're gonna win more of like 90 percent more of your gunfights you're not gonna obviously have aim bot but your odds of winning gunfights increases dramatically if you're already looking straight in the direction of where your enemy is at now this is actually what a lot of pros do as well basically every pro you know if you watch their gameplays actually study the way they play the game even your favorite youtubers that you know drop high kill games and rebirth or whatever study their games and actually you'll see that they all apply the exact same role of making sure they're centered if they know someone's there if you use information from uavs it's going to make it basically like free kills and especially against players that don't really use their you know uav or their sound as much you are automatically going to have the biggest advantage ever now, something that's worth mentioning is that settings play a very important role. If your settings are too slow or too fast, it's going to dramatically affect your centering. Now, you guys can play on a really fast sense if you guys do like playing on that or even a slower sense. But just keep in mind that if you're on a slower sense, it's going to take you longer to center. And if you're on a faster sense, you might over peak or you might make, you know, too many big adjustments. So you want to find something that's comfortable for you. Uh, you can't play in a fast sense, but just make sure you're comfortable with it. And one great way to break into a new sense is to practice your centering with that new sense. If you just got a new sense and you have a private match, hop in a game 
and practice actually being able to do this right here. This right here is what's gonna allow you to actually get good with the sensitivity. And I'm telling you guys right now, a little secret, there is no like perfect sense that's going to make you a demon in Warzone that doesn't really exist. You can play on any sensitivity you want and succeed. Fast, slow, doesn't matter. I will say that, you know, fast senses and slow senses have their advantages and their weaknesses, but I've dropped 40s on 2020 and I've dropped 40s on, you know, three. So it doesn't really matter that much. I'm gonna real quick run you guys through my settings real quick. I'm using 1212 sensitivity with a 0.85 ADS. I have my dead zone set to zero on the left stick and about three in the right stick. I use dynamic as my response curve type and I believe they use default aim assist. And that's what I'm using right now in the video if you guys are wondering. Now I do want to say real quick that practice makes perfect. So if you guys really want to see an improvement in your gameplay, you have to put in some time. I would say 30 minutes to an hour a day of just practicing like this will make you much better in about a week, maybe two weeks, you can be at a very high level. It doesn't take that much time when you're actually practicing against bots, especially in private matches that are somewhat smaller where you're just running to bots all the time. You're always in a gunfight. That's really gonna help you with your process priority, especially when it comes to fighting multiple targets. For today's video, I did use the CAR-98 as my like gun. And the main reason why is because centering is the most rewarding with snipers. Yes, you wanna center with every gun you have, because it doesn't matter what gun you're using, you still are going to use it to shoot someone and kill them, hopefully. That's the plan, so you want to have good centering with whatever gun you have. But if you have really good centering with snipers, that's going to be the most rewarding because they're one shot. They have the fastest time to kill. All you got to do is pull the trigger one time and the person's dead, especially if you hit them in the head in Warzone. I've noticed a lot of you guys on my channel are new, so I hope this guide was clear and informal for all of you new players. And if you guys have any questions, you guys can always comment them down below and I'll try to respond to all of them. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and understanding always.